Hello, this is Ken Small, and I'm an architect in Las Vegas, Nevada with uh, SSA Architecture. Um, today's video, we're going to be talking a little bit about uh, um, the, this animation that you're looking at now. It's um, animation that was created for actually two different purposes. And um, so first we're going to look at the exterior of the building, and then we're going to be looking at an interior and some interior design. And uh, the reason why these uh, two things are important, and they may not be important for your project, but for some clients, is that uh, in a lot of instances um, you're looking for uh, a use permit approval or a zoning case or a conversion from, let us say, maybe an agricultural land or residential zoning to a commercial zoning. And um, so you want to show what the project is going to look like. You don't uh, want to oversell it as uh, being a thing of extreme beauty when it's just going to be a, uh, a moderate uh, commercial building, but you want to be uh, accurate about the perspectives and, and what everything looks like so that um, whoever is looking at it doesn't think that you're overselling what it is that you propose. Um, so um, we're going to start in here well, looking at um, these uh, concrete block buildings. Um, they have a stucco and concrete block exterior and some overhangs. They're modern and you can see looking over the back fence that there's actually a, a metal building behind one of them. So all this is necessary to disclose during the uh, process of getting approvals. Um, you can see one of our other videos that was going to be uh, something unpopular in the neighborhood. And so there, what you're really seeing is that you can't see much of the building. In, in this case, with, with this uh, animation, what you're really seeing is that you can see exactly what the building is going to look like and that you can see a lot of the building. And this particular building is in an industrial area, so... Um, what you're seeing is actually a net benefit to the area, so we're not putting a bunch of plants in front of it to hide it or to screen it from the neighborhood like we did on the other project. And um, you can see we're disclosing here that you're going to see some fairly heavy-duty looking pickup trucks that are involved. Um, these are office warehouse buildings. And um, so... Um, while we're going around the building, then it's um, good for you to understand that um, one of these clients uh, or the end users um, might want an office. And so what you'd be looking at there is what you're going to see after you go all the way around the site. Um, we actually did this uh, interior design for another client who didn't want us to use... Uh, their information or to indicate where their project was at so we took their interior design and plunked it down inside this animation of another building and from that you can get an idea of uh, again how those kind of things go so um, while we're going around this fairly barren asphalt site which is exactly what you would expect to find and what this client wanted for uh, their industrial buildings um, get ready to see an interior design that was designed around a company's colors. So it's a, very common for us as architects to be handed a business card from a client and they tell us um, our company colors are uh, purple and green or red and yellow or whatever they are that were selected by some graphic designer in the 80s or whenever it was and then we try to do an interior design to accommodate that. So you'll see some actual photography of, uh, for instance, on our website, the uh, Cinegenics Medical Institute, and their colors are actually purple and green. And you can see the photography of the finished project. It turned out really beautiful in purple and green, so we were able to work with that but it's not indicative of our taste as architects or interior designers that we prefer that purple and green. So it can be a little bit of a shock that the interior and the exterior of a building don't match each other, but that's how it comes about 
the um, it's very very common that the uh, shell building developer in an industrial complex like this should choose some really uh, mundane colors grays with a little bit of blue trim here is what we're looking at and then that an end user would come along and lease a space and they need to be in a office warehouse situation because they've got uh, products or something that has to be stored in a warehouse that uh, maybe the type of business license they have won't go outside of an industrial area so it, they need to be in industrial area for that purpose but then they want nice offices on the inside so um, this is a good combination here um, this was actually done with a lot of green building technologies included, bicycle racks on the outside and things like that. Um, the buildings were designed to be in the city of Henderson where these things are, if not mandated, strongly encouraged. And um, so um, the landscaping that you see here is indicative of what we'll be using in the Las Vegas area. You're seeing gravel and desert type landscaping. We do sometimes do cactus, but in this case that wasn't what we chose. It's a little bit uh, softer type plant material, but still very desert friendly, very water friendly, and um, we're in compliance with the local water regulations that are very strict here. And um, it isn't just that we want to comply with the regulations, it's also that building owners don't want to pay a lot of money for irrigation. Um, this wouldn't be something like a, a funeral home or a golf resort where they're going to get uh, additional business or an improved environment for their customers by um, putting in a bunch of uh, side or what have you. Um, quite the opposite, uh, they want still to look nice but uh, be very budget conscious. So um, this building coming up here on the left which we originally came in and passed once already you can see inside the windows which is a aspect of this software that we use that makes it kind of nice. We can actually are able to turn that off if we want but you're getting some little glimpses here of what's coming up in the windows and um, you can see the scale of this building with uh, the people that are standing around and um, then we're going to turn make a hard left here and go in the front door and you'll get an idea of a uh, real nice um, initial uh, impact when you walk in the front door with the receptionist desk and um, this uh, circle effect which has something to do with the type of business that they're in and um, so there you are. Now we're transitioning. And it, you can see these uh, butt, butt glass uh, walls that separate the boss's offices from the main open area. Um, they have a big uh, sales staff there. And um, they meet in this large conference table that's uh, right by the front door sometimes but then um, they can also go into this conference room for more private meetings and again you have a, a butt glass wall no mullions or anything turning into this orange uh, chair and green uh, uh, quartzite countertop and again you can see what you can see looking out um, through the windows in our animation software and get an idea of the carpet that we've selected and how it will look sitting on the floor. Now we're just going to go back into a little uh, coffee area. You can kind of get an idea of what that's set up like. And then looking back into the main office. And we've done some interesting things with the shelves beyond. And this is another little coffee bar here. And then glimpsing a restroom. If your visualization skills aren't too good, and you can really understand what it is that you're looking at here and um, how everything will look when it's built. It's not a full photorealistic imaging, which we can also do, but most people don't want to pay the additional money or wait the time that it takes for the computer to run a full photorealistic imaging. So 
it's quite uncommon to have us do that, although there are some examples on our website. Um, for the most part, people can get a real good idea from this of what it looks like. And um, if you had to go back to your corporate headquarters and get approvals or to your board and get approvals for funding, uh, people who can't read architectural drawings can get a real good idea from looking at this, um, what it will look like, and um, make a decision about, there you are back at the front desk, um, make a decision about whether they think it will be um, what it is they're looking for. So um, we provided interior design on that um, project and we were the architects of the shell building and um, we'd love to do your project if this is something that you need or not. Um, my name is Ken Small and I'm with SSA Architecture and we are in Las Vegas, Nevada and our phone number is 702-873-1718 please like and share this video and go to our website which is called smallstudioassociates.com the link to the website is below and like and share whatever you find there we have uh, three dozen videos talking about all kinds of topics related to architecture interior design and construction so we hope you'll follow what it is we've been posting and enjoy it and share it with your friends